On the way to Domingo Yono's Dojo in Haberstraw, New York. All right. The office. A few of his awards. Beginner's class with Sensei Yonos. Okay, everybody sit down, relax. Sensei Yonos introduces Sensei Martinez. Okay, before I we saw the class, I want to introduce you guys to a good friend of mine. Okay, we've known each other since we were young. We started karate around the same time. Was that? Was I young? Okay, this is Sensei Julio Martinez. Okay, so the Julio used to live in this area years ago. Okay, then he moved to California okay, and eventually moved back to the Dominican Republic. So he just visited for a couple of days. And he wants to just do a little bit of recording of the class. He is also a world champion, okay, both okay, competing in cotton and meat. Okay? So we're, we're very, very well known around the world, okay, not only for his competitive nature, but also for his teaching ability. So please, everybody stand up yeah, and please show me respect now, right? Let's get it. Hey. Beginner's class. Sensei Domingo Llanos was born in the Dominican Republic. In 1971, he moved to Haverstraw, New York. In 1973, at the age of 15, he had his first Goju karate experience through a friend of the family. Two months later, he was introduced to Black Belt Hall of Fame member Sensei Chuck Marimba, from whom he received his fourth dan, and still loyal to him. Yono Sensei has also trained under other famous Goju Yukarati teachers such as Teru Chinan Sensei and Morio Higona Sensei. As a member of the organization presided by Sensei Morio Higona, he was awarded fifth dan. In 1997, he visited the island of Okinawa to compete in the Okinawa Karate and Kabuto tournament and to train at the Jundoken under Aichi Miyazoto Sensei and some of his most prominent students. At the end of his stay in Okinawa, Yono's Sensei was awarded the rank of 6th degree black belt by Aichi Miyazoto. In August of 2010, he was promoted to 7th Dan and on April 2016. He also was promoted by his lifelong teacher, Sensei Chuck Merriman, to the rank of 8th Dan. Yonos began training karate primarily for self-defense. But in 1975, it all took a different turn when he was invited to compete for the first time at the Latin American, Caribbean, and United States Championships held in El Salvador. This was the turning point of his competition career. That lasted more than two decades. In 1977, Yano's extraordinary ability earned him a place on the National Air Ukarati okay, team. Okay, all right. Don't forget the bell. While competing for a Yulano's set and broke many records. His accomplishments included five-time national kata champion, the times overall champion in kata, kumiti and weapon, and being the lightweight kumiti champion. competed in the AU until 1983. Lonos also competed professionally with the Trans World Oil Karate team 
formerly known as Atlantic Oil Karate Team. successfully in most major USA National Open tournaments. Some of his international victories included the World Union Karate Organization Wuko Championships in Tokyo, Japan 5th, place in Kata, 1981 World Games in Santa Clara, California 3rd place Kata, and 1982 World Championships in Taipei, Taiwan, silver medal. A highly respected teacher, as well as competitor, Domingo Yano Sensei is the head instructor for Karate International in the Dominican Republic, Salem, Massachusetts, USA, and Haverstroke, New York. His schools have consistently turned out students who are champions not only in karate, but also in life. Go. 
Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, not to lie, run it back. Good, okay, sit down. Next three in line. Okay, same way, guys. Ready, go. Come on, work them up. Smaller step, yes, yeah, so too big of a step, right? Okay, sit down, okay, legs. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, anybody else want to do another round? Okay, you got, you got it, you got it, go. Okay. Front, and go. A lot of little changes, a lot of quick changes, small steps, not big steps. Each. Each. 
Goju-ryu is a centuries-old fighting art that developed on the island of Okinawa. Goju-ryu, the hard and soft way, incorporates circular, or soft, defense with devastating hard offense. At first, Goju-ryu is passed on in secret, teacher to student, but now is taught thought the world. Many karate styles have evolved from Goju-ryu. But at Karate International we practice the art as the masters did long ago. After studying martial arts under Kanryo Higaono for many years, Chojin Miyagi Sensei, a native of the island of Okinawa, developed the Goju-ryu, or hard soft style of karate. Goju-ryu combines hard striking techniques such as punches and kicks with softer methods such as open hand blocks, takedowns, throws, and grappling. There are 12 kata in the Goju-ryu system. From the very beginning, students learn kata that contain combinations of techniques that can be used for self-defense. Gikisai Daiichi and Gikisai Daini, the first two kata that students learn today, were developed by Chojin Miyagi Sensei in 1940 to teach both self-defense and physical fitness. Get there fast from the chamber to the toilet, you get there quick, right? 
All right, switch your stance. Okay, one side. Same, okay. Relax your stance, right? Relax your leg. Got to be able to move the hip okay, quickly, okay? So if that's what we're doing, standing up too straight, our legs are too tight, and we move kind of like a robot, right? It's too rigid, okay? Relax, right? Hey, okay, each. Okay, back. Knee. 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 Back. Side. Side. Back. Chi. Chi. Back. Okay, speed. Each. As students progress in rank they learn new kata and additional techniques, but the two gikasai kata alone provide the tools that are essential for self-defense. Gikasai Daiichi is the first of the introductory kata which were created by Miyagi Sensei, said to have been created around 1940. Miyagi Sensei intended to use these kata to instill an interest in new practitioners and school children. Up until this time, a student would have only been taught Sanchin in one of the Keishu kata which would have been chosen for their personal study due to their physical attributes and personality. Over and around, cover the whole front of the body, right? Miyagi Sensei was concerned for the future growth and preservation of karate do. And so, by creating these kata, he sought to promote and popularize karate through the school system. Miyagi Sensei is said to have taken his inspiration for the development of Gikasai from his 1936 visit to China, where he visited the Jingbu Academy. The Jingwu school was working to promote and preserve the Chinese martial arts by collectively gathering the various arts under one roof and working to restore them to their former standing. Higikisai kata contained techniques taken from the other eight Keishu kata, as well as techniques not contained elsewhere in the Goju-ru system such as Eijuk and Oi Jodin Suki. The inclusion of these techniques may suggest a slight Shorin Ru influence, and it is commonly said that Miyagi Sensei was in close consultation with Mabuni Kenwashido Ru in Nagamine Choshin Shorin Ru during the creation of the Gikisai Kata, containing a number of different striking techniques, kicks, takedowns, and combinations. The Gikisai Kata are more than a mere introduction to Goju Ru. They stand alone as fighting kata in their own right, and offer an insight into the kind of ideas Miyagi Sensei was working on around the period of 1940. Students who train consistently in Goju Ru at our dojo not only learn self defense, but also become more physically fit while gaining self discipline and self confidence. Miyagi Sensei felt that the ultimate aim of Karate Do was to build character, conquer human misery, and find spiritual freedom.
rot it's rotation, so there's still the, the, the right hand still going to be on top as you bring it down, right? And once the arms are extended, then you open it, right? Right? You okay? Okay, one more time. Wait, you go. Okay. Okay. Then yoi. Then same kata, right? Yoi means ready position, right? Up, covering the face, not across the belly, right? Up higher, 
down, then double strike. Sink the weight down when you do the strike, right? Push the arms forward until your elbows are in front of your belly. Elbows in front of the belly. Where are the elbows? Over here, these are the elbows in front of the belly, right? Push them out. Okay, keep the weight on the back leg. Now, forward each. Okay, keep the on, keep the, keep the position, right? Don't let the hands change. Don't bend, right? Here's the front. Okay, and okay, down each, and come back. So once you make the stance, okay, when you especially do this part here, you do the elbow, you don't come back up, right? You keep yourself down, just clean yourself to hold the stance for a lot of the movement. Once you do the sweep, then you can come up, you go into a different stance, right? Same thing when you strike, if you strike, once you do the strike, you try to keep the muscle tight, maintain the position, right? Don't let the hands tie up, right? Keep the strength. This is how you're going to build up strength by holding that position as long as possible. If we give up, we're never gonna make it any better, right? If you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna try to hold it, right? This is when you start to keep the sense, right? Okay, come back to the center, let's do it one more time. Okay, that's good. Weight, left over right. Get quick now, right? Ish! Knee! Turn! Not fast. Get back fast. Just snap the lock up, right? Get real quick, like a whip, right? Ish! Hey, knee! Okay, a little faster, a little faster. I'm gonna change, right? I'm changing, I'm changing the hand now. Just put the hand out, but drive the punch. Right? This one comes back, other hand goes forward. Both hands move together, right? To generate the power. Right? Ish! Okay, forward, ish. Okay, knee. Okay, my getting ish. Elbow. Okay, one, two, smoke you out of the punch. Ish. Yeah. Okay, knee. Okay, ish. Okay, knee. Forward, back. Okay, ish. Okay, knee. Yeah. Okay, hey, okay, diagonal now, ready? Right? Quick step, ish. Push out slowly and tighten the muscles, the muscles as you're pushing, right? Right, okay. ish! Okay. Push it to the front, never mind. Keep the bottom hand over the front leg, right? Don't let it go, don't let it go to the side over here, okay? Keep it right in front of you. Keep it way in the back leg. When you when you this leg, okay? Okay, back, right? Okay. So the foot stays, the back foot stays locked, the front foot just on the bottom of the front, right? Okay, okay. Push it forward. Elbows are in front, right? Remember, okay, time. Same thing, elbows in front of the belly, right? Don't let the elbows go back, right? That's what I was talking about, by now, okay, losing the position, right? Don't let the hands drop, okay, or the elbows go back. Keep it out in front, okay? As you do the last movement, right? Okay, each, okay, and down, okay, and return. Okay, okay? Eight. Okay, everybody can sit down over to the side. Okay, we just have a, just a couple more minutes. So we're gonna do, okay, just lines, okay, groups of two. Okay, first two people go down to the end, line up, okay, in front of the back at the very end, right? Okay, design, okay, you and Elijah, right? Okay, when you guys, when you come up, Okay, you're going to do high knees all the way down to the back. When you get to the back, okay, you can form the parallel stance, hands in guard position. And you're going to do three sets of front kicks on the back, right? Doing right left or left right, doesn't matter. And as long as every time I count, you do two kicks. All right, everybody on the chest? Okay, hands out. Okay, ready? Go. Quick, 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 quick. Up and down, up and down. Okay, put those knees out, fly as high as you can. All right, get within this, right? Get this, parallel stance. One camp, two front kicks. Ready, ish! Too fast, right? Don't be too far away, so you don't want to overreach. You want to be able to reach it quickly, and then to where you're standing, right? Ready, ish! One, two. Ready, knee! Okay, run it back. All the way back. Go to the next two up. Next two up. Behind, and one out. Let's go, pay attention, right? Turns, ready to go. Okay, ready, and go. Okay, again, go one down. Parallel six, right? Knee 
Down to the shoulder. One, two, and on the camera. Ready? Yeah. Right. Quick, quick. Down to one, two, right? As quick as you can kick and change those legs, right? Okay, ready? One, two. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Try to push it back. That's just going to take a little longer, right? Just strike the target, bring it back. Transfer the power. Same thing. Parallel stance. Parallel stance. That's the chin. Right? Down to the shoulder. Right? One, two. Ish. Yeah, yeah. Down to the back. Go. Okay, next two up. Go ahead and go. Thank you, Sensei Yonos, for letting us watch a beginner's class tough by you. Eight, 